In just three years, as of 2017, it reached its 40-year record low, and that was 10.7 million square kilometers. So altogether, in that period of three years, it lost two, a little over two million square kilometers of ice. And that's a little bit larger than the area of Mexico. The sea ice circling Antarctica has plunged from a record high to record low in just three years, according to a new report just released by the US space agency NASA. Researchers don't know if this is a natural blip that will go away, or whether more long-term global warming is finally catching up with Antarctica, which hasn't experienced as much consistent warming as its Arctic cousin in the north. The sun's radiation that comes down to the Earth's surface, if there's a sea ice cover that it's incident on, most of that radiation gets reflected off, goes back to space. If the sea ice is no longer there and the sun's radiation comes down at the same location, but now it's liquid water instead of sea ice that it strikes, it tends to go into the oceans, stay within the Earth's system, and heat the Earth's system up. Effects are also felt by not just animals you can see, but many who aren't easily visible. Penguins definitely are affected by where the sea ice is. Yeah. But in addition to the polar bears in the north and the penguins in the south, uh, the sea ice cover affects birds, it affects whales, it affects seals, it affects little organisms that actually live in the ice. So. The little organisms, their entire life sometimes is lived within the ice. So those organisms clearly are affected and it kind of goes all the way up through the food chain. Another paper published in Nature shows that we are now likely warming up the Earth by 1.5 degrees Celsius. If you recall, the 1.5 degree is also the higher limit proposed by the Paris Agreement back in 2017. This 1.5 degree Celsius of warming could be enough to expose 14% of the population to bouts of severe heat. It's capable of destroying more than 70% of the world's coral reefs and melting nearly 2 million square miles of Arctic permafrost. Existing infrastructure itself is enough to heat up the earth, so this is likely to be happening, even if you don't build a single new power plant, factory, vehicle or buy a new home appliance.